you, to the panel, is if the EPA, from what we understand, has uh, found evidence, and they've stated this, that fluoride is a neurotoxin, neurologically, what really is it doing to us? Uh, could, you, could you enlighten us on that a little bit? The, a study panel for the EPA, you're absolutely right, listed fluoride as amongst 109 chemicals for which there was significant evidence of neurological effects. It has definite impact on the neurons, which is the nerve parts of your brain. You don't just grow those back. It's not like, well, I cut myself, so now I'm renewing myself. It doesn't happen to the neurons. There are so many ways that fluoride could be damaging the brain. We know this from animal studies. Dr. Phyllis Mullenix exposed rats to fluoride to work out its effects on the human brain and the central nervous system. What we did was we exposed them, let them drink the fluoride in the water for 6 to 20 weeks. The pattern that we saw it typically is what we see with other neurotoxic agents that are well known to cause a hypoactivity or uh, a memory problem or an IQ problem. When I first presented the results of these studies, one of the uh, individuals sitting and listening to the results, he says, do you have any idea what you're saying? And he says, you're telling us that we're reducing the IQ of children. Look, the first opponents of fluoridation in this country in the 1950s were biochemists. These biochemists had used fluoride in their experiments to poison enzymes. And they, including Dr. James Sumner, who won the Nobel Prize for Enzyme Chemistry at Cornell, and he said, fluoride poisons enzymes. You don't want to put this substance into the body. Poisoning enzymes is what makes people sick. Poisoning enzymes is what kills people. It's highly likely that you're going to get subtle effects on the brain that the parent is not going to notice. No wonder that our children can't read and write. It's no wonder because we're damaging their brains with a stupid preventive dentistry program that doesn't even work. We have behavioral studies and we have 24 IQ studies, 24 studies which now show an association between fairly modest exposure to fluoride and lowered IQ. They've actually got it down to a one milligram dose of fluoride causes a 0.59 loss in IQ points. The average IQ is 100. So if you're 95, you're in the back of the class napping because you can't understand what the person in the front is saying and you're going to get a nice job pushing the broom around so what if you got twice that dose okay you're down to 90 so what they showed in studies in other countries is that you lose all your genius out of your society you've damaged the intellect but new research from China supports Dr. Mullenex's conclusion that fluoride affects mental development and IQ levels I've heard a great deal about a chemical that can be used on the teeth to help prevent decay. Is that a good thing to use? It certainly is. We use a fluoride solution, and we have evidence that for some people... Fifty years ago, American government scientists had clinical evidence that fluoride affected the central nervous system. But all this was kept secret. Chemical? You're going to put some chemical in my mouth? All mention of, of the effects of fluoride on the central nervous system was stopped. In my view, fluoride is where lead was in the early 70s. That argument lasted about 10 years and it was finally proven that yes, low levels of lead, lower than caused visible symptoms, was in fact damaging a child's mental development. I think the same thing that we're going to find with fluoride. As someone who has gotten off of fluoride, I can tell that my thought processes and my concentration is higher. And so when you damage the IQ of the children, you lose your place in the country as a leader, and we have. And that's because of the damage that our government has allowed to happen to the intelligence of our children. If there wasn't research out there that's shown conclusively that it affects the brain and the neurons, that it affects the immune system, that it affects the bones, and it is incorporated into your body, fluoride bonding is strong. You get something with fluoride bonded, it's not easy to get it off. Well, what's going on? Remember.
the truth is out there waiting to be found. Wake up, take the red pill, join the red pill in war. Break the matrix, free your mind. Take the red pill.